Next, Next up, a pro, pro fight, fight between, between two, two guys, guys that rarely get to the judges. Are a CJ Marsh taking on Ryan Dixon, and, and both, both of these guys know how to finish. finish. They, they absolutely, absolutely know how to finish. finish. They, they both have experience, and they're, they're highly motivated because they, they want to get, get to the next level. level. I, can't I can't wait to see it. it. So, so here, here it comes, CJ Marsh getting, getting set to take on Ryan Dixon. This school of hard knocks fight is a professional bout in the 170 pound division and is our main event of the evening. Sponsored by Shaw GMC. And now, let's get the fighters. To the cage and now out of the blue corner, Ryan Dixon. Ryan Dixon, a fantastic fight. And since then, also fought and beat former Hard Knocks fighter Advin Olmick as well. And uh, Ryan Dixon, a very tough fighter, has uh, spent time living in Thailand, also time in Vegas training with some of the, uh, the more popular gyms down there. And uh, really uh, loves to compete, that he's willing to fight on no notice. And uh, as a result, keeps all of his paperwork ready, his medicals ready. And, and we can't stress that enough to, to fighters of, of all stripes. If you want to fight, if you want to be a fighter, make sure you have that stuff ready and available to you at any time because you never know when a fight will come up with just a couple days later. Uh, Ryan Dixon, a consummate professional, his coach saying he has what it takes to go to the next level. And uh, before he's able to do that, he has to go through his opponent, who will be right now. And his opponent. Now we see CJ Marsh coming down to the cage. Four and four. Hey, he knows that Ryan Dixon's got a great down game and knows that the way that he's going to win this fight against a tough opponent like Dixon is to implement his own game plan. And that's one of those things that really does need to happen for any fighter at the top level. You can't necessarily go on what your opponent's going to do. But what you're going to do is you look at the tail of the tape here, 29 years old, is CJ Marsh, 24 for Ryan Dixon, and a three-inch height advantage for CJ Marsh. Now for our official introductions, we'll head inside the cage, Jaden Ann. And now, the official Hard Knocks Fighter introductions. In the blue corner for Pro Coat Coatings, he's 6-2 as a professional, 24 years old, and stands 5 feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Jeff Jocelyn MMA from Toronto, Ontario. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Ryan Dixon! And in the red corner for Shaw GMC, He's four and four as a professional, 29 years old, and stands six feet, one inches tall. He weighed in at 168 pounds, fighting out of white buffalo Marcelo Alonso BJJ from Seattle, Washington. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, CJ Mars. This bout will be contested under professional rules. The referee in charge of the Hard Knocks action is Mr. Brian Beauchamp. Hey gentlemen, this is the main event. We went over my instructions in the back room. I want a clean, fair fight. Any questions in the blue corner? Questions in the red corner. Let's touch gloves, get ready to fight. So Ryan Dixon will come out of the blue corner in the white trunks, the black shorts for CJ Marsh out of the red corner as both of these fighters get set for the main event of the evening. Dixon's almost standing in the center to start the fight. <laughs> hey, uh, not, not necessarily in the corner to start that fight, but they do meet in the center, touch gloves, and we are underway with our main event. Oh, that's a very stiff cross coming and a nice leg kick from Ryan Dixon. And uh, you can see that right hand loaded up for, uh, loaded up for days. Dixon pacing right now, following him in. March with a little bit of a reach advantage. It seems him able to get in and land a jab. Good head movement. That's it, have some fun. Hands up, the right hand. 
Both fighters, uh, again, a little tentative, and, and you start to see that, of course, when you've got the, the more experienced fighters. Of course, uh, uh, they're not going to come out and start uh, throwing from the hips, as it were. Good punching so far. A nice jab and then a nice hook there from CJ Marsh. So good striking and then a right hook right after. Has some nice punches being thrown there. And you can already see a little bit of the damage, uh, a bit of a, a red spot on the face of Dixon. Trying the takedown, trying to time it, and having to slide away. CJ Marsh landing another couple punches. Some nice takedown defense, too. Good, de good takedown defense by CJ Marsh. Very impressive so far, just shortly in, one minute 30, or sorry, 35 seconds remaining. Three minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Thank it's you, a long night. I, I wondered if we stepped into a time machine. Uh, so Ryan Dixon uh, landing another nice leg kick there. As they keep going forward, Jimmy, a change, changing a nice jab for jab combo there as uh, Marsh came in with the right hand. And now Dixon trying to chase Marsh around. around uh, Marsh very quick on his feet here. He is very fast on his feet, and he needs to be because Dixon has a lot of power, and that's a nice punch. And you look at where most of these punches are landing, very low on the jaw of Ryan Dixon, and it's almost like C.J. Marsh is aiming for the neck, and that is where the, the one that just landed is, and that is a mean leg kick from Ryan Dixon. We talk about his power. Yeah, collapsing the legs of C.J. Marsh together, and uh, looks like a little bit of blood now coming from the nose of Ryan Dixon. Dixon switching stances now, being to throw, being able to throw equally with both hands. Again, finding the pace, finding the spot, measuring the first round, looking for that big strike. And yeah, you can see it, Jeremy. He's got that right hand loaded, uh, pretty much at all times. It's it's back there and ready. Now the hands opening up, trying to see if he can start to counter. The attacks from CJ Marsh and a nice kick there. Just yeah, Marsh just getting out of the way, getting skinny up against the cage to get out of the way of that one. Good combo, didn't land, but this is something to set up for the later on in the fight. A smart fighter like Ryan Dixon is trying to find the range and see where he needs to be to be able to land against CJ Marsh and how he's going to deal with those combos as they're thrown. Kick thrown from Marsh also does it. Marsh's father, a former NFL lineman, first round draft pick, played from the Oakland Raiders. That's a big punch right there. Asked Marsh if he was a Raiders fan, he said by default. <laughs> nice takedown there from Ryan Dixon as he moves forward. Marsh, nice defense. Dixon trying to get out now into a half guard. Continuing to move now into side control. Some very nice moves there to get into side control. Excellent passing by Ryan Dixon. And Ryan Dixon does not have the longest reach. And where that comes into advantage is on the ground because he doesn't have to go very far and make much distance to damage his opponent in C.J. Marsh. And Ryan Dixon so far, and both C.J. Marsh as well, showing they are both three-phase fighters, able to, to do all three phases excellently here in our main event. C.J. Marsh trying to sneak out the bottom, unable to do so. Dixon still in the half guard of Marsh. Now landing punches to the midsection on the far side. Trying to pass into the mount, now is in the mount. Dangerous position here. And now switches to an arm by lots of pressure on him, but good turning by C.J. Marsh, able to come out of it. And we talked about the three phases. That was an excellent arm bar and excellent defense on that side. Yeah, and the crowd showing their appreciation of it as just 10 seconds remaining in round number one. And the one thing that we can say about these Calgary crowds is we've had so many events here, they're starting to appreciate the sport and a little bit of a late kick, but I think uh, uh, no was, harm meant that it, way. It was on its way up when the bell rang and it connected and, and immediately CJ Marsh just smiled and gave him, gave him a high five knowing that uh, no evil intent there. When you look at the corner now of CJ Marsh and working with him as it was the other way around, you see Adam Smith working with him. And again, these guys are not from the same club. They're not even from the same city. They met each other and they, they, they said they know of each other, but that's it. Here's a replay of that armbar in very tight, but look at that defense. Excellent. 
excellent job by CJ Marsh, able to get out of what was a pretty decent armor. Would have yeah. caught many other people. Rolling through and stacking up, Jeremy dropping his weight on it so that that way it takes away the pressure and able to slip free. And you can see why these two guys are our main event fighters as both of them uh, have did damage. I don't even know how to call that round because I think CJ Marsh did get the better of the striking. He got more of it when Ryan Dixon landed. Significant strikes landed is every one of Ryan Dixon's strikes is significant. But uh, the, the takedown, it, tough rounds to call. I'm excited for the rest of this fight. Round number two just about underway as Brian Beauchamp oversees the doors. Make sure that they're closed so that we can be ready. And again, both fighters eagerly to, waiting to get out of their corners. And uh, as a result, they meet center of the cage, touch gloves again, and we are back underway. Nice kick there from CJ Marsh. And you gotta know that his, uh, his cornerman would have said, hey, you've got the advantage when you stay to the outside. So let's strike and move and get out of the way. And there's another big leg kick by Ryan Dixon. Yeah, you can start to see the footprint from Ryan Dixon on that thigh of CJ Marsh, and that's not gonna help it at all. Well, it slows him down, that's for sure, as that lead leg is really required to have those big things, and now he's hitting the inside of that leg, so throwing kicks from all angles is Ryan Dixon. You can see Dixon faking the throw. Nice left, following it up with a right. CJ Marsh trying to get in. And Ryan Dixon weathering the storm. We know CJ Marsh has punching power. I mean, you can see Dixon's head going side to side. You can see the damage that these punches are doing evident on Dixon's face as the cut opens up beside his eye, but it doesn't seem to be slowing him down at all. Jerry. Well, and Dixon in his last fight that he lost was bleeding all over the place and still was able to take that to a, a split decision. So uh, perhaps just one of those things that he's a fighter that bleeds. George St. Pierre, very famous for being a bleeding fighter. But uh, don't take anything away from the damage that CJ Marsh is doing to the face of Ryan Dixon. And that, that makes uh, bones in the judges' eyes. Yeah, and it's, it's starting to puff up on the right-hand side of his face, too. Uh, that, that may be a concern going forward for him. But uh, you know that, uh, that that's where CJ Marsh is targeting. And that a was nice a heck jab of a jab right there. Knocking his head backwards with the jab. And then again, throwing another big hook. And Dixon, I mean, full credit, still coming forward. CJ Marsh staggers him with another left hand, and he's throwing with everything he's got. Anybody watching this fight at home who is getting into MMA, watch the striking from CJ Marsh. He's not throwing everything he has in that punch, but every one of those punches is landing square on the chin or the face of Ryan Dixon. Yeah, Ryan Dixon, the, the right side of his face is starting to resemble a pack of hamburger here. CJ Marsh has done a superb job at striking so far, but credit Dixon, still coming forward, still throwing kicks, still getting in there, ready to throw punches. Uh, I mean, Dixon's been cutting off the ring. CJ Marsh has been doing laps around the outside of the cage for the entire fight. Well, on a pro, the caliber of Ryan Dixon knows he has to get inside, and that means eating a few punches to do it to be able to be effective against this longer fighter, he's gonna do it. And Dixon really needs to get inside that reach and slow down CJ Marsh, because CJ Marsh won't engage. The only time he engages is when he's able to land a shot. And wow, that was a well-timed shot and great defense. I, this, I'm just gonna put my pen. <laughs> yeah, CJ Marsh is doing excellent work here at avoiding, doing an excellent job of being the counter striker finding his spot and, and counter-striking very effectively. And, and Ryan Dixon's still coming forward, but when there's an opening, C.J. Marsh is putting his fist through it. Just over a minute 30 remaining in round two. And if you look at the faces of these two fighters, you can tell how round two has gone with Ryan Dixon eating the majority of the punishment from the quick hands of C.J. Marsh. And a nice shot there, very quick shot in and going for the double and securing the takedown here with a minute to go. A nice takedown, finds the double upside against the cage, throws those hands right underneath his butt and takes him down. We mentioned earlier on in the night with the fight between Mike Skimora and George De La Rosa, Brock University and their wrestling program. And working there is Ryan Dixon. He works every day with Evan McDonald, who represented Canada at the Olympics in freestyle wrestling. So. 
those shots come with authority and they if he's able to secure those against those guys imagine how he's doing here very good position here for ryan dixon with 40 seconds remaining yeah on top in the mount up against the cage and able to drop punches into the face and maybe jeremy saving the round here for himself if he can continue to do damage from up top maybe securing the second round after a round where he kind of chased and ate a lot of punches and trying to take the back and now isolate an arm. He's got an arm isolated again. Now the arm bar sight and an immediate tap. And Ryan Dixon put a hell of an arm bar and CJ Marsh unable to escape. And this is something so unique in MMA here. He tapped him out, he was frustrated. And the first thing they did is say, wow, that was a heck of a fight. They knew they were a part of a great fight. Yeah, smiles on both guys' faces as they're chatting here and uh, they'll get a look and I'll head inside the cage to talk to our winner. So a great night of fighting here tonight and this, I know CJ Marsh is upset at the result of this fight. He's upset that he got caught, but he did something that not many people have done to Ryan Dixon. We're gonna look at the finish here on the arm bar and he scooped the head, brought him through and stepped over. Good flexibility by Ryan Dixon and I don't think C.J. Marsh could have thought that Ryan Dixon could get that leg over top. And once he did, look at the pressure on the shoulder and arm of C.J. Marsh. And again, we've watched so many fights here on Hard Knocks number 35. That was one of the better technical fights I've ever seen uh, in, in mixed martial arts and especially in the Hard Knocks cage. We do have our official decision. We're gonna throw it up to Jaden. And Hans. now, the official decision brought to you by Shaw GMC. The winner by tap out due to arm bar at four minutes and 44 seconds in the second round in the blue corner, Ryan Dixon. Ryan Dixon continues his journey to do very well in MMA and work his way to the next level. He's gonna be with Ryan. Ryan will get you here, center of the cage. So, I think it's safe to say at the after party when people look at you and people look at CJ, they're not going to guess you won this fight, but you survived a lot of damage, kept coming forward, and eventually found your spot. Uh, all I have to say is jujitsu. <laughs> when I fought uh, Advin, my face was pretty beat up too, but uh, jujitsu, when you get on the ground, if you, got, if you got that skill on the ground, then it's... <laughs> It's tough to deal with, but Frick, man, he's, he's got some good, good striking. Now, a couple times it seemed like he rocked you back, but you were able to very quickly find your spot and get back in it. Uh, it seems like uh, you, you got a, a bit of a chin on you. Yeah, yeah, uh, kind of too much for my own good. He caught me stepping in, which is like, that's textbook. He caught me stepping in, which was able to uh, catch me unawares and uh, yeah, it kind of like wobbled me a little bit, but it didn't, I didn't lose my bearings like where I was. It just kind of like shut the light off for a second, but um, yeah, he caught me coming in. Now, uh, I'm sure you got sponsors, coaches to thank, people back home. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and remember uh, as best I can, but uh, thank you uh, Thunder Tribe and Trenchless. They've been helping me out huge for since I've been a pro. Obviously my coach, Jeff Jalzen, my other coach, my diet coach, and uh, the guru with everything physical, Callum Cowan, and uh, uh, Tab Out Training Center as well, and SST, SST Hamilton for getting me in shape. All right, and you got uh, people watching at home as well? Yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a bit later where we are, but uh, I tried to strike. I got a little beat up, but uh, I felt okay in there, so thanks for watching, everybody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for your winner, Ryan Dixon. A main event win for Ryan Dixon. Ari, this guy just kept coming forward, eating punch after punch, and eventually found his takedown and got the armbar win. I really love the all-around game. Great kicks, 
great takedowns and what an amazing submission. This guy's the real deal. Now on the other side, CJ Marsh still looked fresh after 10 minutes. A very good striking. You think against maybe a weaker opponent, he might have got that knockout. Hey, you know, I think that's a different fight if he doesn't get caught in that, in that arm bar. I, I, I really like both of them. I'd love to, <laughs> I'd actually like to see it again, I and mean, we won't do that, but we'll get them both back, and, and, and they will both do very well. So your winner tonight over CJ Marsh, Ryan Dixon, improves to 7-1 as a pro fighter.